What up, guys? Um, I just wanted to show you that, because, uh, uh, you know, you guys are watching all these videos on my channel and all that, and you, know, you see how cool the car is, how much fun I'm having with it, and blah, 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 blah. But I wanted to show you that uh, I am no exemption to, I guess you could say, real life, real life situations. Uh, I actually just had an accident with this car, in a way, very minor, but it still really ticks me off. So, let's check out the damage, shall we? I wish I had more light, but if you can see right here. So that whole piece, well, part of that piece, because it goes to right there. I never knew this was one piece right here. I thought it was part of the rear bumper, but uh, it's right there. And then one of the little plastic pieces even fell out. And to down there. And then I guess it, you can kind of see right here is where it, it scraped. And then it, I guess it hit it and knocked it, broke it off. So, I had side, well, it kind of hit my side molding right there too. Alright, so here's the deal. Here's what happened. I was coming home, rounded the corner. I was going into my gate. Uh, I live in a gated community. And uh, the gates normally shut at sundown, or in this case, around like 7.30. I rounded the corner, I slowed down, I noticed the gates were still open. And, you know, I'm going slow, right? So I proceeded to go through. About halfway through into the gate, it starts shutting on me. I look to my left and I see it coming towards me, and I'm just, I'm, you know, like last second reaction, but I'm, I'm freaked out, you know? I'm... First thing that flashed through my mind was a huge dent in my car, maybe on both sides, if it if the, the gate would have really hit hard and in the wrong spot as I was going forward. But uh, it the first thing that happened when the gate was shutting is, you know, I made a last second decision. I got to keep going. I can't stop. I don't have to, I don't have time to reverse. It actually folded my mirror. Uh, look, I don't know how, but I mean, unless it's because of the dirt and the rain, but. I don't, well, maybe right there, there might be bird poop, I don't know, but I don't really see any damage. I guess it, it hit it in the right way that it just pushed it, but my whole mirror actually folded in like that. And then that's when, I guess, the bottom part of the gate hit right there. But uh, when this folded in, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I, you know, I was freaked out, you know? And, uh... This is the night before coffee and cars, so great. Now I have a damaged car, but hey, you know, it's a daily driver and it's a real car. It's not a trailer queen or anything like that. I drive it daily, so yeah. I need to find out if my neighborhood, whoever's responsible for that gate, the HOA or whoever, if they'll pay for that. If not, I need to find out what the heck this piece is called. I'm guessing it's like a rear quarter panel flare trim piece or something. I need to get this fixed because I'm not one of those people that just leaves it broken. I mean, this is going to bug me and bug me until I fix it. And yeah, but, yeah, so I, I just, man, I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, I am, I am a real person and, you know, I'm not exempt to a real world situations and unfortunately this happened to me and as far as I can tell replaying it back in my mind I was in the clear I mean I, I slowed down I looked the gate was open I have a uh, can't really see it too well but I have a clicker for the gate I mean if if that stupid gate would have been shut I would have held the clicker down it would have opened everything would have been peachy but no the gate decides to shut right when I'm halfway through it so that really ticks me off. <laughs> and uh, it actually scraped a little bit. I already have a curb rash or whatever from a long time ago. I mean, you know, I, I plan on getting, I want to get some Rota grids. I know they're the typical, stereotypical uh, rim for Subarus or whatever, but I just like the look of them. And, of course, I'll keep the gold theme. And then I can just, because these are forged, so the Rotas, in my opinion, are cheap, cheaper quality at least but uh whenever i want to do the drag strip or something 
in the future I can switch out to these rims and then for daily driving for looking good or car shows or whatever I can have the rotors yeah so again this is what I'm dealing with tonight the night before coffee and cars so uh yeah, I just wanted to mention that, you know, not everything in my life is perfect. <laughs> I mean, I can't complain, but things don't always go my way, you know. That's all I'm saying. Because uh, I was actually looking back at some of my vids, and it's like, wow, you know. You got the cool car, and then he's got all these parts with all this money. But, uh, you know, it, it didn't happen overnight. It took a lot of working, a lot of saving, a lot of research little bit of um, networking, you know, meeting meeting the right people, my mechanic, parts guy, Jordan had to find. Yeah, so I, I was planning on getting this car detailed anyways, but that's just a, a setback I wasn't planning on, and it really pisses me off. <laughs> yeah, and a uh, fat chance I'm going to wash my car now. I'm pissed. I was going to kind of wipe it down before coughing cars, but screw it. It's supposed to rain tomorrow anyways. I'll just leave it filthy. Yeah. Yeah, I got a new, uh, sport and a new decal. OK Subies. Oklahoma Subarus. It's got the pistons and the Oklahoma outline silhouette. So, uh, yeah, if, uh, if you know somebody in this group or if you're part of this group, then you probably know me or can find me. <laughs> And this is a man's garage. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Yeah, actually, I need to check, see if I need to rotate my tires. I can't remember. And oil change. Yeah. And right, just a little update. I think I just hit 46,000 not that long ago. I think I'm at about 46,300 miles or something like that. And this is a 07 STI, so that's like ridiculous. Yeah, that'll look good tomorrow. And then just a little update on the car. For those of you that are, at least for those of you that are new to my channel. DCs. Uh, this is this is pretty much my setup. IAG aluminum accents. Crim speed air oil separator. Crim speed electronic boost controller. Uh, I have a Grimspeed master cylinder brace, but not yet installed. Uh, Turbo Smart dual port blow off valve, tile external wastegate, 44 millimeter, NVIDIA N1 turbo back exhaust. This is actually a JDM ball bearing VF34, I believe. Uh, it was kind of like a, it's basically a loner. My mechanic needed my, uh, my original, my IHI. VF 43 journal bearing so you know if he needs it I try to help K&N of course the stereotypical intake I plan on getting that changed out I have a new turbo inlet that's bigger get rid of the restriction uh, AMR from my intercooler in my opinion the piping is garbage I didn't realize it was going to be ran this way and a lot of it is rubber I don't like that and there's no uh, brackets to support it, so it rattles sometimes. And it really takes up a lot of space. This rubber piece even broke this off right here. This is, used to be where the overflow tank was. They give you a little tank here to compensate, but still it broke the little fan piece off for it. So, again, something else to be ticked off about. A uh, little accent dealy. I need to delete that eventually. Uh, Grim Speed lightweight crank pulley, love it. Five inch thick intercooler. The core, the intercooler core, I'm going to keep. The piping, I'm going to throw away or sell or whatever, cut it up. Don't like it, not going to keep it. Uh, Grillcraft grills, but it uh, it broke in like three places, and my bumper's kind of not exactly pretty. And of course, I have methanol injection. 
right there. It's where the methanol nozzle is. And then it, it goes to right there to my firewall. Okay, so uh, I guess you would consider this car a stage two and a half because I have methanol and full exhaust. So that pretty much is my car right now. Nothing too special, but I mean, I like it. Uh, and I have the mods to do more, but uh, I think I need a little bit more money and I need a lot of time, a lot of my mechanics time. <laughs> so, yeah, this is pretty much where I'm at. If you're subscribed to me, especially if it's for the, the Subaru, the STI, this is it right here. And uh, I'm still gonna go strong with the videos, gonna keep putting them out. Uh, I started a uh, like a stick shift lesson thing. I'm gonna keep going with that. And uh, there will, I swear to Christ, there will be a build in the future. Uh, but uh, you know, don't hold your breath or whatever. Don't you know keep looking at the subscription box every day. It's it's not gonna happen overnight. But believe me, when it does, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, I'm hoping to hit, well, with all the mods, I should be able to hit 500 all-wheel horsepower on 91 octane and methanol. I should be able to. With the turbo and with everything I'm going to use, it should be easy to hit that. But, of course, you need to take into account the type of tune I'm going to get. I'm not going to get a super aggressive one, but I'm not going to get a super conservative one either. It's going to be like a hybrid blended tune, half speed density, half mass airflow. Uh, it's basically going to be an all-around car. Good for town driving, city driving, good for highway. Uh, hopefully going to have good low end, good mid range, good top end. You know, if some dude in a diesel truck wants to freaking mess around, I can just hammer it in whatever gear I'm in or downshift the gear and floor it and I'll be able to whoop his ass. And uh, the way my mechanic is going to set it up and the way he was telling me the car may only end up with 460 all-wheel horsepower, but I'll be able to destroy guys that have 540 all-wheel horsepower because usually in order to get there, they have to run a bigger, huge, giant turbo, which takes a lot of time to spool up, a lot of lag. So especially if I'm at the drag strip, I'll be able to spank them because right off the gate, I'll be able to hit it and drag some ass. By the time they, they build up enough power to try to catch up, it's too late. Wow, 12, 13 minutes. All right, well, that is it. Uh, if, you know what that, if you know what that piece is called, I don't have to flash that anymore. If you know what that, that piece is called, uh, comment, let me know. Especially the price, I'm, I'm curious because I will get that fixed. I need to get that fixed. Uh, comment below, thoughts, questions, whatever. And uh, oh yeah, and I'll mention one more thing. Again, for the the people that are just that just subscribed, um, and you know, I don't know if I got the point across or whatever, but I'm just a stereotypical person. You know, I I'm not a YouTube partner. I've gotten offers to monetize my videos and make money and whatever. I don't plan on doing it. Uh, the YouTube videos are just a hobby. It's just for fun. Uh, originally, I created an account because I wanted full access to YouTube to have playlists and to see videos that were like rated 13 and older and whatever so I made an account and for over a year I didn't post anything I just watched videos under that account and then for some reason I decided to start posting and uh, I posted guitar videos at the start and then I guess I wanted to do better quality so I created another channel and I held myself to like a higher standard and I would only post if I I met that standard and then when I got the car I wanted to post it but not on my new channel which was strictly guitar so I ended up putting them on this Panzerth account which is my original and from here on out it's basically been my my car channel so again if you're subscribed because of the Subaru please stay tuned uh, don't hang around the sub box forever and keep refreshing I mean it, you know I don't really post on a regular schedule but when I do it'll be there for you to check out if you like and uh, and I'm not trying to be like a view whore or a sub whore or whatever I mean 
If you like my content and you want to be notified, subscribe. If not, that's cool. Uh, the like and dislike, I mean, if you, if you like it and feel compelled to like, go for it. If you dislike it, click it. You know, any opinions or whatever, write them down. I have the settings for automatic, so whatever you write will be posted. Uh, but please, no hateful or discriminative or anything like that. Any any kind of comments that are just bad. I mean, you know, if you post some racist stuff, I will delete it. There's no, there's no point to that. Shouldn't do that, you know. Let's everybody be cool. <laughs> wow. All right, sorry for ranting on. All right, well, this is Jeremy signing off. Later.